so I had a big huge log and I have a big huge lathe now so I figured I'd put the two together. I don't usually do these voiceover videos but this is kind of boring and I've sped through a lot of it. I am going to make a giant baseball bat. More like a caveman club I guess you'd call it. I left the bark on because I thought it'd be fun. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good idea because the bark was flying off but I had my face shield on and it did make for some exciting quick moments. Uh, I'm using a big two inch roughing gouge here. I use that for most of the project. Um, and I use my carbide square tip chisel as well. I started from the back because that was the most off-center piece. It was really hard getting this big log on by myself. I probably could have used help putting it on. But I figured that that part would be the handle and I just try to get this thing round and trued up as they say with the roughing gouge which worked really good that thing's nice and sturdy and strong and I sharpened it before we started um, the ends I didn't really care about because I knew I was going to be cutting them off or parting them off so I was just trying to get it round and true so I could increase the speed I think I started at like 150 or 200 RPMs and I probably ended up around 500 when it was um, when I was doing my finishing cuts so as you can see here I'm just taking my time and I'm whittling away and checking my progress and seeing how it's going until I get to the end um, and then I can go back and start shaping it. I fastened this on with a six inch face plate and I used, I don't know, like nine screws, as many screws as I could put in the plate. So here I'm working down the handle and I kept testing it to see, I figured it was going to be heavy so I kept testing it to see when I can get two hands on it and comfortably wrapped around and I just kept going down until I hit that point and then I, you'll see I tapered this up um, from that point. This is where I switched over to the carbide square cutting tool and that really was nice once I got it roughed out and trued up from here on out I pretty much just use that and you can kind of see how much I'm cutting away at a time too It was really super fun to put a big piece like this in the lathe and, and make something out of it. I had done it once before um, and it came out really good, but this one I was making special for my brother. I didn't have any kind of drawings or, you know, idea of what it was going to end up looking like. I, I knew roughly that I wanted like a caveman club but I was just really just having fun and working with a piece of wood I mean I literally put like a tree trunk on here and started turning it it was really fun and there was a huge pile of uh, wood chips on the floor when I was done and I have a picture of that that I'll show in the slideshow at the end so here you can see I'm just shaping it and getting rid of all the stuff that's not smoothed out and trying to get some kind of a Captain Caveman kind of look here. Now 
now that I'm at the end, I'm marking out roughly where the screws end up, uh, knowing that I'm going to have to part it off at that point. So I just made a rough mark there, and I figured I'd cut it off later. So now I'm just smoothing it up, getting ready for sanding and doing a little final shaping. It's really starting to look like something now. I made a mark to part off the end too because I didn't want the little pinpoint from the tailstock in the end. Sanding went kind of quick. I wasn't really, this isn't fine work, so I didn't have to get it like super smooth. So now here I'm taking those, all those screws out of the faceplate, and then I gotta, I tried cutting the end off on the bandsaw. That was a bad idea. So I stopped that, and I switched over to a handsaw, and was after two cuts I was thinking, you gotta be kidding me. So then I moved over to the big boy. Chainsawed that off in no time. Cleaned up my cut a little bit. That was a lot more fun. A lot safer. You can see I'm kind of happy about it. And then I just hit it with the belt sander uh, to clean up all the rough stuff from the chainsaw and round it over. And then I smoothed it out again with the orbital sander and then I switched it over and I just sanded off that bottom part this thing is really heavy it's still wet um, it'll crack a little bit while it dries out but it's solid and it's not going anywhere. so to finish it up I just put some Danish oil on there I figured that was a good seal and I poured it on the top thinking it would just come down and splashed off and, made a huge mess. and then I dumped some in the rag and that made a huge mess too but I got it on there and I was just slopping it on. You don't have to be neat with that stuff. So a couple coats of that, it was good to go. And I brought it over to my brother. The other pictures that I have here are just of the one I did prior to this. Um, I started off the same way, used the same approach. Uh, that one came out really good, but I keep that one in my shop. And I have a little sign next to it that says complaint department and I have it hung up. It's a lot of fun when people come over. It's a good conversation piece. Forget trying to swing it. 